it's like you don't feel safe anymore. After the brutal death of Karina Vitrano and the Central Park assault, there is citywide concern tonight. This has caused a lot of joggers to start to rethink their morning run, some even changing their normal routes just to be safe. I only feel safe, and we were just talking about this, going around the big loop. My 5.30, 5.45 jogs probably will no longer take part in the park, maybe outside along the park where it's lit, or if I see somebody in front of me that I can, I can pace with. Other runners feel they are safe as long as they are aware. So maybe just keep a, um, kind of keep a close eye on, you know, your surroundings and stuff like that. I think that if uh, running with pairs, whether it's men or women, I think that that would make the, the runners feel a little bit more safe. Now the NYPD has already announced that they're going to increase the amount of security going through Central Park. But for joggers here in Brooklyn, they are also being advised to take precautions. In a statement from Borough President Eric Adams, he recommends joggers always run with a friend, stay in populated areas, and stay within the trails you know. Don't blast music. Be alert of your surroundings and carry a safety whistle for protection. Wear light and reflective clothing so you can always be seen. And finally, always let loved ones know where you are. Other safety experts are recommending the Circle of Six app, which allows you to contact six people in the case of an emergency and even call an emergency hotline if needed. But for some, the ongoing crimes won't stop them from their daily run. If I, if I want to go run, though, I'm going to go run. I'm not, not going to worry about it too much. <laughs> the suspect in both the jogger attacks, the Central Park and Vitrano case, have yet to be caught. And police are currently on a round-the-clock watch in Central Park. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Angusser.